Hi guys, so I have another haul. Um, some of it's from Book Outlet, some of it's from Amazon, and I do have some stuff from Likely. Okay, so from I'm gonna start with the Lifeway stuff. And Lifeway is a, a Christian bookstore. Um, Lifeway. And that's their website. So you can go check them out and see if you have them near you. Okay. The first thing that I got is this 6 inch roller um, just to go like into my Bible bag. It was like 99 cents. Um, the thing that I like about the, this particular roller is that on it I'm dropping all of these books. Okay, let's try this. It's flexible, so it's not very rigid, but then also on it, you can kind of see it's got the um, books of the Bible, and if they are prophecies, wisdom, law, um, minor prophets, major prophets, things like that. Paul's letters. So I got that. And then I also got uh, the NIV Bible Study Commentary. So it breaks down the books of the Bible. Has a little intro into it. And then it has um, just like a study guide to go with it. With the different chapters and stuff. So I got that. And it's by John H. Thalheimer. Uh, then I got Spurgeon on Prayer and Supernatural Warfare. Behold, I give unto you, oh, it's a Bible verse, um, Luke 10, 19. Uh, this is by Charles Spurgeon. It is six books in one. And the six books are The Power in Prayer, Praying Successfully, The Golden Key of Prayer, Finding Peace in Life's Storms, Spurgeon on praise and Satan a defended, defeated foe. Foe. I can't speak today. All day long, I've been tongue tied. Okay. Then last week or the week before, uh, this book was on for free. It's The Pilgrim's Prog Progress by John Bunyan. That one. This week, this book was for free, and it's seeing um, how worship transforms your life, family, and church by Keith and Kristen Getty. Um, and then I got whoops. Prayer Fatigue by Jennifer Kennedy Dean. It's 10 Ways to Revive Your Prayer Life. And then A Simple Path to Spiritual Intimacy for Couples Praying Together by Sam and Vicki and Garcia. And then I got... Um, the Case for Miracles by Lee Strobel. It's his newest book. Um, his story is very interesting. Uh, if you go and you check out the movie, The Case for Christ, it has his story on there and how he came from being an atheist to a Christian. Um, atheist or agnostic? One of those. Then there is this one, If I Run by Terry Blackstock. It is the first book in a series, if I run, um, and so this one says Casey Cox's DNA is all over the crime scene, 
There's no use talking to police. They failed her. They failed her of Smalley before she has to flee, before she's arrested, or worse, the truth doesn't matter anymore. But what is the truth? That's the question haunting Dylan Roberts, the war weary veteran hired to find Casey. PTSD has marked him damaged goods, but bringing Casey back can redeem him. Though the crime scene seems to tell the whole story, details of the murder aren't adding up. Casey Cotts doesn't fit the profile of a killer, but are Dylan's skewed perceptions keeping him from being objective? If she isn't guilty, guilty, why did she run? Unraveling her past and the evidence that condemns her will take more time than he has, but as Dylan's damaged soul intersects with hers, he is faced with two choices. The girl who occupies his every thought is a psychopathic killer or a selfless hero. And the truth could be the most deadly weapon yet. And then also by Terry Blackstock, I got Cape Refuge, which is the first book in the Cape Refuge series. And this one looks like there's four books in this series. I think there's only three books in the other series. So this one says, um, I'm dropping stuff. Okay. This one says, not too far off the Georgia coast lies the small island of Cape Refuge. Wade and Thelma Owens run a halfway house there that caters to wayward souls just out of prison. So when Wade and Thelma turn up brutally murdered, the town goes into shock, concerned that one of the Hanover House residents is a murderer who could strike again. When police discover that the murder, rep murder weapon belongs to the Owens' son-in-law, Jonathan Cleary, he's arrested for murder. Shattered by her parents' deaths, Morgan Cleary struggles to keep Hanover House running while her husband sits in jail. Her sister Blair is no help. Blair wants no part of her parents' ministry or their faith. They devoted themselves tirelessly to serving God, only to be brutally murdered. Why didn't God protect them? She wants to dump the ministry and sell the house until her determined search to find the true killer uncovers some startling family secrets. As the killer runs free, a lethal race against time ensues with far more than Hanover, Hanover House at stake. Uh, then I got this one, which is the first book in Stone Beret Chronicles. It's called Thunder by Bonnie S. Calhoun. And it was 90% off. <laughs> it says, hidden in the tall grass. It's just, yeah. Hidden in the tall grasses along a shore littered with the rusted metal remnants of a once great city, a hunter crouches. It's, it is the eve of her 18th birth remembrance. In high time, she proves to herself and her brothers that she can stand on her own two feet. Sailor Russian Chavez waits not for game, but for one of the small boats that occasionally crash against the desolate shoreline because inside one of, those boat, one of these boats, she'll find her quarry, a land bird. These people from an unknown land across the ocean are highly prized by the company and bring a good price, especially if they keep the markings they arrive with. Everything falls to pieces when the lander whom Sela catches is stolen by her brothers, and Sela wakes the next morning to find the lander's distinctive mark has appeared on her own flesh. Once the hunter, Sela is now one of the hunted, and she knows only one person who can help her. Bodie Lockie, the lander her brothers hope to sell in the mountain. Okay, and then uh, my husband also got two C.S. Lewis books, which I will probably read also. Uh, the first one is the Screw Tape Letters. Um, and it says the classic. This classic has entertained and enlightened readers the world over with its sly and ironic portrayal of human life and horribles from the unique vantage point of screw tape, a highly placed assistant to our father below, at once wildly comic, deadly serious, and strikingly original, C.S. Lewis gives us the correspondence of the worldly wise devil to his nephew Wormwood, a novice demon in charge of securing the damnation of an ordinary young man. The screw tape letters is the most engaging account of temptation and triumph over it ever written. And then this one is 
mere Christianity. Um, it says mere Christianity has sold millions of copies worldwide. The book brings together C.S. Lewis's legendary broadcast talks of the war years, talks in which he set out simply to explain and defend the belief that has been common to nearly all Christians at all times. Rejecting the boundaries that divide Christianity from many denominations, Lewis provides an unequaled opportunity for believers and non-believers alike to hear a powerful rational case for the Christian faith. It is a collection of scintillating brilliance that remains strikingly fresh for the modern reader and at the same time confirms C.S. Lewis's reputation as one of the leading writers and thinkers of our age. I got that one. They have another one that I was really wanting to get. It's called The Dark Tower. Um, but they, well, he wrote another one called The Dark Tower and I really wanted to get it, but they didn't have it. English. I'm telling you, English is not my friend today. Okay. Oh. So I have two Amazon orders. Oh, it was one order. It just came in two packages. The first is the Sticky Notes Portfolio Hydrangeas by uh, who is this by something? Peter Pop, Peter Popper Press, and that's what they look like. Really nice and pretty and big. And then the next one is the Lollipop Tree by the same company, Peter Popper Press. So I got those, and then. pouch slash pin pouch. I'm going to use it as a pin pouch. Um, and it holds 150 pins and pencils. Uh, so it's right here. It unzips and then you can put there's like a little pocket. Um, and then right here in the middle it unzips also so that way you can lay it out on your desk in two rows and it's just paint swatches. Pretty cool. Um, and so this is a G2 pin. The loops are, are loose enough that you can fit it in with the uh, the grip. And it also helps that it's like canvas material, so it's a little bit of give on the back. Ouch. I don't think I'm going to put any um, pins that are quite that wide, but uh, let me see. So here's like a paper mate pin to open. And it just slides right in there. I think I think this is the top. I think that this is supposed to be like where the the tops of the um, color pencils go, or whatever pencils you're using go. But I don't know how I'm gonna set it up yet. So I got that. I'll show you what it looks like filled up later after I fill it up. And then lastly, I got a book outlet haul. Um, so book outlet had, if you spent so much money, you got um, $5 off every, it wasn't every $10 that you spent. It was the tiers were a little bit weird, but when I looked at it again, I was like $3 away from being at the next 
tier. So I went ahead and I just grabbed a random book to throw in there to put me at that next tier. Um, so I got $20 off for the coupon. And then I had a $5 gift certificate for um, the I redeemed some reward points. So. Okay. So this is the book that I just randomly threw in there. It's Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. She's the one that wrote um, All Is Not Forgotten, which I do have that one. I haven't started reading it yet, but I do have it. Uh, one night, 15-year-old Cass and her 17-year-old sister Emma disappear. The family car is found deserted at a nearby beach, but the author, but the authorities are baffled by what could have become of them. Three years later, with just the clothes on her back and no evidence or credibility to back up her claims of what happened, Cass returns home without her sister. Her tale is one of kidnapping and isolation in the mysterious mysterious island where the two were held, but Cass's story has holes, and to forensic psychologist Dr. Abby Winter, something about it just doesn't add up. As an expert in narcissistic personality disorder, Dr. Winter looks deeply into Cass's family to uncover the truth. She looks at the mother, a woman so beautiful on the surface and so damaged and damaging beneath. She looks at the stepfather and the stepbrother, each so uniquely troubled and dangerous, and she looks at Cass herself. What she finds will shock those searching for Emma and reveal a twisted story of a deeply dysfunctional family and the lengths to which Cass has gone to bring about redemption. Very interesting. Okay. And then the main reason why I was placing an order was for this monster of a book. And it is the NIV, KJV, NASB, and AMP all in one thing. And I am going to take this dust jacket off because this book is too big to have a dust jacket. I will definitely end up, uh, whatchamacallit, messing it up. So this is what it looks like without the desk, desk, uh, dust jacket. I cannot talk. And then on the inside, let me go to like, so this is chapter 52 of Jeremiah, 51 on the top and 52 on the bottom. So you'll have uh, NIV, KJV, NASB, and then a and P on this side. So you kind of look at it. And I don't have version. Well, I have the NIV version. That's the, the version that I use the most of, but which is good because then I'll have the NIV in here so I can cross reference it right next to whatever else I am. Whichever other version I'm looking at. So, but the other three I do not have a version of. Okay, and then the last thing that I got, which was ridiculously on sale, is the Night World Collection by L. J. Smith. It has Night World, Daughters of Darkness, Spellbinder, Dark Angel, The Chosen, Soulmate, Huntress, and Black Dawn, and which light so and it is in this beautiful box set I'm trying to get this off so there's not a glare so this is what the set looks like and then on this side it just has a little bit about it it says Vampires, werewolves, witches, shapeshifters, they live among us without our knowledge. Night world is their secret society, a society with very strict rules where falling in love with a human is forbidden. And it goes into what each individual book is about. And I don't want to go into that because I don't know if these are considered standalone books that kind of just happen in the same world or if they're all intertwined. I don't want to um, 
spoil anything for myself. But I do want to show you the covers. So this is Night World Book 1. And it was previously titled Secret Vampire, apparently. Um, this is Book 2. Daughter of Darkness has a really pretty flower on there. Book three is Spellbinder. Book four is Dark Angel. Ooh. Okay. Now, I love the dragonfly on this one. And it stop right there for a second. So, book one. Night World. Oh, it may all be the same on all of them. That's the inside of it. Yeah, it looks like it's the same as just different color schemes. And then what's written right here is different. Angel, going back to that kind of color. So the colors don't necessarily repeat themselves. Just a couple of them have the same red color. Uh, this one is the Chosen. Very pretty. Inside. And it's on both of the front and the back. And I don't see any other things throughout the thing, throughout the book. Uh, soulmate. It's really pretty, like, blue-black. Huntress, and this is, I believe, Belladonna flower. Very pretty. I don't know if Belladonna is going to have something to do with it. I love... So far, they don't have some type of, like, flower on them. Black Dawn. And then the last book is Witch Light with a lily on it. Okay. So that's all I have. Um... That is probably all that I am going to be purchasing anytime soon. I do want to say that I did cancel my um, Owl Crate subscription box, so I'm not going to be getting those anymore, which is fine. But um, those videos I'm not going to be uploading anymore. Uh, the one that I uploaded a few days ago will be the last one for that. Um, so yeah, this is what all the books look like together. They make that really pretty symbol. So yeah, I will talk to you guys there. Bye.